a little while after 8. Actually, it's about 8.30. Feeling good after a zero. Legs feel better. Blisters aren't hurting as bad. I've got a pack full of water because it's 14 miles on trail before there's water again. And if I don't get a hitch, it'll be 17 miles with this three mile road walk. So let's see how that goes. Been noticing the uh, transit signs around. So if somebody wanted to, I think you could always catch a ride back into the city. So it took about a half hour, several cars went by, I walked about a mile, and then a gentleman picked me up and gave me the last couple miles, so. I'm gonna walk down this way and somewhere I'm gonna head up. About one o'clock, about halfway to the water, next water source. Got about eight miles, seven more to go. See the trail over there. And this is what the trail's been like. It was a bunch of up at first. Now it's just little ups and little downs. Sun's out and the sun's warm, but it's not raining, so I'm not complaining. Trails over there, only have a couple of miles left. So here's my water source for today. Water cache that's been maintained here. And it's a good little ways off trail and downhill. So I'm glad I was able to drop my pack, I'm gonna get some water, and I'm gonna go make camp. I think this is gonna be my camp for tonight. It's five o'clock, and I think that's enough for me. I got up at a decent hour this morning and kind of getting my business done, but it's just such a pretty morning. I haven't been motivated to really get after it, so might have a late start today. So getting a little bit of a late start, mostly just because of uh, other hikers wanting to talk to me and got about 10 miles to the next water source a liter and a half of water on me this looks like a beautiful day came around that way and going up that way it's going to be a hot one it's 10 30 haven't quite done four miles just took a nice long break you have to be part of a hiker adopting their trail name and about six miles to the next water source sun's pretty strong and uh trying not to worry about doing miles i'm gonna make it to warner springs tomorrow without much of a problem so it's still a pretty day Three miles following that line. Around until it drops down over there. 
Well, it looks like I've passed mile 100. I didn't see a marker. That's okay. There'll be plenty of other milestones to go. 10 miles done. Here's the water source. Time for a break. It's a little bit afternoon. I've taken a nice long break. Only gonna do <clears throat> a few more miles today. There's a couple of water sources off the trail that haven't been reported on yet this year, so I'm gonna check them out. And I'm going to take two liters of water with me, just in case everything's dry or nasty. I came from over there. Around there. I'm going this way. Came from down there. This is one of the two sources went off trail to check out. Just, I've got time and it might help hikers out in the future. But I'm getting tired. I'm going to go get my pack. Go up to the next water source about a half mile away. And start looking for a place to camp. Seeing those turkeys was neat. And I think that's going to be my campsite. It's a quarter till five. But I am very happy that I have this camp spot. So, ready to make some dinner, settle down, and get ready for tomorrow. Got up a little bit earlier than normal. So I've already got a lot of my morning business done. Going to be a little bit before the sun gets up over the horizon, but the tent's not very wet. So I'm ready to get heading towards Warner Springs. Came from back there. Going up that way. Starting to warm up a little bit. Got a package at the post office, and I could go up to the road and try to hitch, or I could just walk this way. If I don't get a hitch, then that's a mile and a half of walking on asphalt. I'm not seeing a lot of traffic on the road, so think taking this path was the right choice and now a little bit of road walk to the post office I might be able to make it before they close for lunch I'll be coming over here for a sandwich as soon as I finish over here at the post office they have a cord out for hikers to charge their devices and they have Hiker boxes, so that if you need to pick up something or leave something, you could. I'm going to run next door and get a snack and then come back and pack everything up. My bag and over at the post office, my battery's charging. 
and I just grabbed a couple of Mad Mike's Bratwurst. Gonna eat them, take a little break, and get back on trail. Well, looks like I spent a couple of hours. Got resupply, ate some sausages. We're a mile and a half into town, mile and a half out, did eight miles here. Get on the trail a little ways to the next water. I might be done for the day. Everything doesn't fit. I need to repack the bag and I need to start eating more. I was saying I wasn't worried about miles. So whenever I got to this nice shady spot, I took another nice long break. See how far I'll make it. This is only about a mile out of town. And there's word that this might be private property. Hikers have had issues with the locals. And it's only a quarter after two. So get to start going uphill. I can hear the stream down there. I've been coming up this way. So ready to find a good place to camp soon. Not a great big mile day, but for a town day, did all right. My tent was a little bit damp, had a little bit of ice inside of it. Uh, other campsites in the next few miles are all right next to the stream, which would just be cold and wet anyway. And I've got water and ready to make dinner. It's a cool morning, but it's dry being up this high from the water. Thermometer says like 35 and I've had it out of the tent for a little while. A lot of uphill today. Going up that way. Just came down from camp up there. There's a lot of talk about a winter storm on the way. So the next two days ought to be interesting. More clouds today than yesterday. And more hikers on the trail as well. up uphill miles are easier in the morning you will see little spots of trail here and there Came up from that way. Trails over there. There's a spring about a quarter mile off. Not sure how much water it has. I've got a liter, but it could be four miles before I hit water, or it might be eight. So I'm gonna go check out the spring. This is the spring. Looks yummy. Coming up. And up. Still going up. Wind's picking up. And the clouds are getting dark. Clouds are getting closer. And a little bit of drizzle is starting to fall. So it's time for the pack cover at least. By the time I got the pack cover on, it started coming down better. I don't think this poncho fits very well. 
have to fix that next time I have a chance. Before, wherever I saw the clouds in the distance, I thought I saw sunlight beyond them. So I'm still hoping that this doesn't last long. A lot of big rocks, still very moist. There's a dry little spot under there. Probably room for me and my pack. But the rain slacked off. And I won't get any farther sitting up there and I'll probably get cold. So I'm going to skip it and I hope I don't regret it later. I would be hiking over there if I didn't stop early here. Well, it's after seven. Still got plenty of clouds around. I've got the Tyvek bivy going. Because by the time everybody figured out that there was a shack up there that they could sleep in, it was full. Had some hot dog trail magic. It was awesome. Might not look that bad on here. But last night the wind was really strong and it got really cold, got some snow. So I think I might just wait the weather out here at Mike's place because they talk as if there's going to be more rain and ice today. There's Mike's place. And the trail goes up through that saddle. Well, I need water. Figure out how much I'm going to need for the rest of the day. So I'm not sure if there's going to be any before I make camp. The sign said a quarter mile. I have doubts. Well, the pack is good and heavy now. Full of water. And I'm just going to keep going until I decide to camp. Coming up from that way. Came down over there. And going that way. Made it up to a ridge and ready for a camp spot. So this right here looks to be about the most sheltered spot I'm going to find. So this is where I'm going to make camp. Jeff G3895 asked me to show my meals and I'm getting ready to make dinner so I'll try doing that. I'm going to boil about two and a half cups of water. Got a resealable silicon bag for my food, and I'm going to put in a cup of instant rice, a cup of instant refried beans, uh, bouillon if I have it, and I'll usually add some kind of meat, either freeze-dried meat, jerky, or uh, slices of spam, 
but I forgot to ask to have those sent in my resupply, so I'm just going to snack on some meat sticks. And just as the water's starting to boil, I take it, pour it in. It takes five or ten minutes to rehydrate. So I put it in the sleeping bag to preheat my sleeping bag while I finish setting up camp. When it's cold like this, I'll often make a cup of bouillon just to drink. I did instant coffee in the past, but now I do real coffee. I hope all those clouds keep heading east. I hope those stay over there. The tent was wetter than I expected this morning. I'm going to be getting out of camp right about on time. Hope to hit Paradise Valley Cafe early enough to get a hitch. Uh, had service for the first time and had a lot of comments on my last video. And I really appreciated them. It was a lot of fun. So if anybody has any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment. Uh, I also got up over 100 subscribers. I suspect a lot of that has to do with Reddit, uh, Pacific Crest Trail. So I appreciate that. And I also appreciate all my original subscribers, my uh, family, friends from work, friends from church, my barber, people from my dentist's office. So, getting ready to get the day started. This would have been a cool place to camp. It was my original target. I wasn't sure if there'd be much protection from the wind. And I think I might have been right. There's been more uphill today than I would have expected to get to a place called Paradise Valley Cafe. Every now and then, you have to remember to turn around. That way you get twice the views with the same amount of hiking. Came down that way. going up that way See the trail up there. Coming up from over there. Leaving that view behind. Over to a new view. And down there's the road that I'll walk to the Paradise Valley Cafe. And down from up there. And these power lines, I think, run one mile to the Paradise Valley Cafe. Where I hope for a burger, Diet Coke, and maybe be able to arrange a ride to Idlewild. Have you ever noticed that last mile seems to be the longest mile? There it is. Just about noon. I made better time than I expected. 
Pretty sure I can smell a burger and fries already. I don't know if I explained earlier, but the reports of snow and ice uh, between here and San Jacinto are makes it sound like an unwise choice to go. So I've finished my burger and I've made one call and I'm trying to figure out a ride. Sometimes you can hitch. So let's see how that happens. It's one o'clock now, so we'll see how long it takes. It wasn't very long before a trail angel came by and was able to give me a ride up to Idlewild. And he was also able to give me some information about the trail farther on up. So I've got a room at the Silver Pines Lodge. I'm going to try to edit and upload this video. And then I've got quite a bit more planning to do. So I'll call it here. Very hiker friendly. And they have a fire. So I can see myself spending some time in here later on. And here's my room. I see a bath in my future, along with some laundry. A little cold up here. I had a friend once that called this exploding in a room. But grocery store was out of rotisserie chickens. But I still am going to feast. Then I'm going to clean up a little bit.